NFL free agency is finally here. We are a day in. A lot of crazy things have happened. I mean, Kirk Cousins signed a massive deal with the Atlanta Falcons. Derrick Henry is a Baltimore Raven. My boy Christian Wilkins is a Raider, but it's okay. I'm genuinely fine with that, Monty Austin for I commend you for not spending $27 million per season on a player. Like, genuinely, I do. Christian Wilkins was my main target, but at the end of the day, I'm not mad whatsoever that the Cardinals didn't bring him in. We're a rebuilding team. We're not one player away. So the fact we didn't splurge 27 of our, what, $55 million? dollars in one player not mad whatsoever we ended up building a lot of talent on this defensive end we're gonna go over that in just one second and the cardinals had a pretty successful day in my eyes at least a lot of cardinals fans are 50 50 i was 50 50 yesterday had a night to sleep on it and you know i, I really think that the cardinals did a pretty decent job monty austin fort didn't splurge spent the amount that we would have spent on christian wilkins in a bunch of players and we're gonna talk about that in just a second i'm a fan of two of these guys in particular and let's go ahead and dive in real quick let me go ahead and pull these up so monty austin fort you did your thing. Justin Jones, I feel like is a little bit of an overpay. This could prove to be wrong, but Justin Jones, Mr. Three Years, $31 million, the biggest free agent signing of the day for us. I don't really know how I'm feeling about this. If I'm being 100% honest, I think this is the biggest reach out of all of these right here. And I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it does solidify a move and helps us with our run defense. And it does bolter up the defense. So at the end of the day, I'm not necessarily mad. We needed help on the D line. DT, we desperately needed somebody and we addressed that so at the end of the day I guess I can't complain it's a lot of money though for someone who might not be worth it then we have a guy that I am very high on that is Sean Bunting or Sean Murphy Bunting whatever you want to call him on this it says Sean Bunting but you know it's Sean Murphy Bunting Tampa Bay legend well not really a legend but at the end of the day guess what he is an Arizona Cardinal I'm a big fan of his game he hasn't had a fantastic past two seasons but the upside is there for him he was a Super Bowl winner by the way on that Tampa team and I think Sean Murphy honestly has a lot of upside especially in coverage now do i think he's going to be our cb1 rolling into next year it's very possible am i comfortable with that I'm not sure. I see him more as a CB2 over anything. So I'm hoping the Arizona Cardinals do end up bringing somebody in on the back end, but I think this is a really good signing for the contract we got him at. It's going to be a two-year $18 million deal, I believe. Or it's actually three-year $25 million. Sorry, I can literally read it right off here. I'm going to just start reading it off of this. You guys have probably seen it the whole time, but I just pulled it up on my end. So it's a three-year $25 million deal for Sean Murphy Bunting. I'm not mad at that. He is only 26 years old, so cannot complain. Then we got Bilal Nichols from the Los Vegas Raiders. We just go ahead and, you know, Christian Wilkins, you can go fill that role in LV and we'll take the old defensive tackle. Three year, $21 million. This is a lot better of a contract than Justin Jones. $10 million less. Cannot complain about this. I don't think it's a fantastic signing, but for the money it is, I think he's going to have a lot of production in Arizona and that Monty Austin Fort is going to get everything out of him. Nick Rallis, go ahead and work your magic. Go ahead and turn this defense into something special, man. And I think this player right here, Mac Wilson is the best signing of the day. Three years, $12 million. I think he can do everything on the field. And he's another linebacker to pair with Kaiser White. I think Mac Wilson is literally going to be the best signing that we had all off season. It's either him or Sean Murphy bunting. Mac Wilson, I can't say enough good things about him. Like literally when you think about somebody who can do everything on the field, this is a guy right here who is very underrated. When we just talk about versatility, he's not afraid to go ahead and stuff somebody in the run. He's not afraid to play in coverage and he can also so pass rush like everything about this guy pretty fantastic might not be at the highest level of them all but at the end of the day he's able to do everything at a decent level and i think that the arizona Cardinals are going to get the best out of them then we didn't make this signing but leak i foe is a new york jet sayonara then we just signed dj dallas as well who i think is going to be in contention for the running back three spot with amari de Mercado as well but dj dallas i think if he is able to come in here and be that return guy that that means that greg dorch will probably have a more elevated role at the receiver position and i think that's why we signed dj dallas in the first place so if he's our running back three going forward, I would not be surprised. And even if he's not getting the reps as a running back three and he's just here as a return specialist, I could see that happening as well because James Conner and Michael Carter are running back one and two. That is not up for debate. That's basically it. The Cardinals didn't really do much in day one, but at the end of the day, I'm not necessarily mad. I think this is a fantastic day. Let me know how you guys are feeling about it down in the comment section below. We're not technically done, but I think we're done personally. I think we're going to start addressing everything through the draft. Still a couple positions of need. I still think we need a corner one, an edge, a left guard guard and then obviously a receiver which could be Marvin Harrison who knows Monty Austin Fort good job not spending this team is just elevated you know we took a step from next year like this team is definitely better than the one last year and that's all you can really ask for we're not like one piece away so the fact that Monty addressed free agency like this instead of splurging like a former GM you know that's 
pretty commendable. Christian Wilkins was that one guy that I did want though. And the fact that he went for 27 million, like I'm cool on that. Monty Austin for I would not spend that either. That's just the one player that I wanted us to dabble in on and it just wasn't worth it. And that's just what it came out to be. Solid signings all around. But like I said, that is all I got for today's video. If you guys ended up enjoying, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related content. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, it's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and the